Well, uh, back to, to crack on with this. Uh, one, two games so far. We're looking to get four games total to win. Uh, hopefully we can get that. We're going to continue on with the cornucopia control. Just as a reminder for everybody, we'll just open up the, the, the deck list here once again. Take a look real quick at what we're pulling off here. Again, uh, I wish I had more three steps ahead, even in the the last uh, the last couple games. Uh, having that solid, uh, solid, straightforward counter plus copying artifacts would not hurt me at all. Uh, that definitely is something I would do when I got more uh, more things to craft here. Uh, other than that, everything else seemed to be working pretty good. Um, I still have company here with. Uh, my good friend Aspen, my little pupper. Um, she might stick her nose in here, and I apologize. There's there's her little nose. Sorry about that. Um, but yeah, for the most part, uh, um, I feel like I got lucky a couple times, but also putting the right cards in the right places in the deck uh, definitely helps uh, expand what I can or um, what I'm able to do anyways. So this is the deck list right here. Uh, I'll make sure that I post that. Uh, in the in the description down below, and uh, yeah, let's just just uh, get onto it. So we're on we're playing our third game uh, of this series. Uh, we're looking for four wins. So far, we have two. Oh, it's the great and powerful. I think I've seen this person play against me before, so maybe they have a bit of an advantage to play against this deck or not. Uh, I got a nice spread of lands, I got some removal, I got some counter, I got some draw. I don't see why we can't keep this. Really important to get these tap lands out of the way when I can. Just a little guy for now. We'll make sure that we have our counter spells up and running here. Um, but we also have our removal up and running here to get rid of this if we need to. I don't think we have to get. I don't think we have to get rid of this because it's only dealing us one damage at a time. And we we can definitely wait until he gets up the four mana to transform it because I think we're going to get a free two damage in there as well uh, if we do let that happen. So we're going to play, again, we got to get those tap lands out of the way as fast as possible when we can. We have another No uh, no More Lies to help uh, protect us in this early game. Uh, good spot for it right there, I think, actually. He's got an enchantment on it. He's making it more of a threat now, but we're still not overly threatened by it. Uh, there's still... Now I have Deduce and the March, so I can do both at the same time on the same turn. So that might be my next play. Um, I'm going to let him take his turn here so that uh, we can see what else we got to deal with. We're okay. We'll just... Uh, we'll take a... We'll take a little poke at this thing here. He didn't flip it. We'll protect our life total a little bit here. There we go. We still have the ability to deduce, which we will. Giving us more options to uh, to draw. I think we can hold off on the, the memory deluge. Uh, we'll actually play the um, Field of Ruin here. And then the Celestus. Uh, this will give us more options later on. So ramping, well, ramping us a little bit, giving us some more card draw. Uh, we'll make it think that, you know, we're considering killing it or countering it. He commits to it. Radiant Grace again. Uh, we'll we'll just draw a card here. Get ourselves pushed through. There's the doppelgang. Um, three, six. So we don't have enough to even copy it. 
twice. We can only do once. So it's really not worth our time to do that. Um, what we can do, though, is just pass the turn. Uh, and then uh, when we get swung at, we can use a memory deluge. Because we've already played the land for the turn. A little bit of a wait here for Oz, the great and powerful. Um, do we want to draw a card? Yeah, let's draw a card. It could always be better than what we got. That's actually really good for us right now. Um, I do want to keep the doppelganger on the board as well. Uh, so I think what we'll do is we'll just discard the memory deluge because I can always play it for seven later on. Uh, but I like to have this, um, just as it's gonna, it's gonna temple him a little bit here. There we go. Now he can replay it which is good for us if he does, because then it's going to be smaller. Uh, but if he hangs on to it, it's good for us in that case too. I do like, I would I would love to see him replay it there. Uh, he didn't. Um, do we need to do anything else? No, we're just gonna draw a card. There we go, we got some removal for his Resplendent Angel. Uh, so he's probably gonna drop it again And when he does drop it again, um, he's looking at a green land, kind of confused, I think. Yeah, well, no, we don't need to swing with the anchorages. It's okay. Have a good close look. End turn. And we get we get a win just from that. That's incredible. I'll I'll take I'll take the third win as like that. So now, if we get this fourth win, um. Off to the races, we can move along with uh, keep this deck on the on the roster, move on to another set of decks. Uh, but we have a lot of buffer now to let us lose a couple games here too. So um, let's just get on with it. Let's just play this this last game to see if I can get four wins in a row here. Uh, cornucopia of control, pulling it off so far. Can it keep it up though? That's the the real question here. J Rain Fourth. I'm probably messing up people's names. I'm no good with that kind of stuff. Uh, we got four lands. That's good news. Uh, we have removal. We have uh, counter, and we have life gain. So uh, I think this is definitely a keeper. Uh, we even have the um, the Otawara, uh, the soaring city here. Uh, we want to set ourselves up. Um, to be able to cast No More Lies. Uh, I'll play the Wastes just to start us off. We're just going to go White Blue just so that we have the counter back up uh, for No More Lies. Oh, look at that! That's handy right there. So we have No More Lies set up right now. March, in case something sneaks through another March. Um, we're not going to be playing the Cornucopia this turn. Uh, just because we do not uh, want to leave it open for nothing. So we'll go No More Lies here counter this uh, we're gonna play uh, we can go brush land doesn't really matter to us we're gonna go and, and play the ancient cornucopia here We've got a little bit of ramp going on wouldn't mind getting some kind of card draw but it looks like our opponent is pinned on two lands so it's not a great I feel bad for this. This is not this is not what I'd like uh, for uh, to see as a match here. But I got memory deluge now. I played a land for the turn. I'm just gonna let my opponent go. If he doesn't get a land here, he may scoop. Uh, did not do anything. I will memory deluge and go for two cards here. Uh, we're just gonna grab. Um, We'll grab the Restless Anchorage so that we can 
uh, we can start putting pressure on uh, next turn. Yeah, he's still discarding cards here. Uh, Anchorage comes down. Um, we're going to play the Simulacrum. And there's the scoop. Um, not a great game to watch, but especially with our opponent just getting stuck on two lands. It's not fun. Sometimes magic isn't fun. Uh, and I feel bad when that kind of stuff happens. But uh, I, I will take it as a win. That is definitely a win. Um, and, uh, man, those first two games that we played took so long. So long. And then we get two games in a row where it's just like, looks like our opponents didn't have what it took. And they decided just to scoop that up and move on to the next game. And I... I've been in that position many times. In fact, for those first two games we played, uh, there was a thought in my mind, um, you know, is it time to scoop this up? I, I, again, I didn't realize that I could work my way through it and out of it, and I got lucky in both those games where I got uh, exactly what I needed when I needed it. So um, luck is a huge factor with Magic the Gathering, man. Like, like I've played this game so much, and if, if you're not having luck on your side there's no point in continuing playing for the day just take a break and just walk away if you can if you're in the middle of a tournament or something like that and you don't have luck on your side oh my goodness that can be so that can be a frustrating day of magic uh for sure but uh i really do appreciate uh you taking the time to watch uh watch me grind up here uh hopefully i can get a little bit higher keep playing uh but i do need to know from you uh, if you want to see um, uh, more of this deck in particular, or is there another deck that you uh, would like to see me play, if you want to put that in the comments down below, then that would be great. Um, otherwise, I'll just probably skip through some of these decks that I have and um, maybe a, a way to trim the fat on my decks because I'm constantly bouncing off of that limit that we have for playing. Maybe as a way to do that, if, if a deck just isn't working out and I'm getting more losses than I am wins, uh, maybe I'll just scrub that deck, uh, delete it, make room for new ones, uh, and then we can do fun things like you guys choose a card that I have to play with and and we'll just see what, what we're going to play with uh, any given moment here from you guys. Uh, but I do appreciate you guys watching and taking the time to uh, comment. Comment nice, comment mean, I don't care. It doesn't bother me whatsoever. Um, so, uh, but if you're enjoying what I'm doing and you want to see more, uh, like I said, uh, you can subscribe if you want to, and, uh, we'll just keep grinding away at these games. Uh, thanks a lot, guys. I'll see you soon.